welcome back to Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures. Today we are playing with the Collection Obsession YouTube hop slash thing I'm doing this month. <laughs> We're gonna play with our, my purple kit that I had introduced at the beginning of the month and we are going to do a birthday bash. Woohoo! So I took three four by six horizontal photos I placed them on a 12 by 12 piece of paper at an angle. Then I went ahead and used my We Are Layer Guides to line them up and space them perfectly. And then took this to the edge to make sure it's one eighth of an inch wide. So then I got this really cute film strip kind of had this idea because I, I don't usually scrapbook horizontal photos and I didn't want to just put them straight up and down. That's kind of boring. These are some funny, hilarious photos. We, yeah, it was just uh, such a great time. It wasn't actually for my birthday, but it just happened to land on my birthday as a summer celebration that I had with my friends. And this happened back in 2018, so I am just now getting to document to it. And that's all right, you know. You don't always have to get to your documenting as quickly as you would like. And that's all right. So we're going to continue to play with the purple kit. I will list that video and the playlist below so that you can take a look at that. It'll also probably be at the end of the video. The playlist will be that you can just click and watch some others. We are going to go ahead and try to play with some rub-ons. Now, I bought these rub-ons because I don't get to play with them very often. And so we just kind of get to experiment. What I'm going to end up doing is kind of bolstering up where I'm going to put my cluster bases, my clusters. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Ooh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I know I don't want this. I know I want more of the flowers and the butterflies and that kind of thing. So my cluster right here is going to be pretty big. Let's see. So this is what my cluster is going to look like. Kind of, sort of. So it's going to cover up a lot right here. I feel like need something more right there. So let's go ahead and put a butterfly. Yeah, let's put a butterfly kind of like right there. Let's see, there's a purple one facing this way. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. I don't know how you're supposed to do these, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Go ahead and Kind of cover up some of that text. That's really what I want to do. Let's take the tool. Looks like, kind of like a bone folder. It's probably what I could use instead of this if I wanted to. Press pretty hard here. Notice that I'm only going over the part that I want. So I want... Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's really cool because... I can feel the texture, but it looks like it's just right on there. That's really cool. Okay. Let's bulk up some of these flowers here. I've got a couple flowers. Let's do... Is that too much of the same color? Nah. We're going to put this one right on top here. Take some of those little dots and look at that. Ooh, that is fun. That is fun. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that part right there and that's okay. 
I don't like the, I want to cover up some of this white is what I'm trying to say. Clearly I'm not saying it very well. Okay, so that one I think is good. Then my cluster down here is actually going to be kind of big. It's going to be kind of like that big. So let's add a floral sprig here. Let's do purple. I want to use that whole thing. I guess I didn't have to because it'll be covered up, but oh well. That's kind of cool. And then you can see that. Huh? Ah! Yeah, that looks good. I think I need a little bit more, actually. Let's take this one. Make it just a little bit taller. And I think you can layer these up. Let's see, I just covered one of them. Oh yeah, that's cool. And you can see what's left. Okay, that one looks good. Now this guy kind of want to let's see I'm gonna have my photos here I don't think I need to add anything here so let's go through and just check I'm gonna set up my page like I had like I was thinking then if I need to remove things not a big deal so my title is gonna go across here when there's kind of a dead space and I added a little bit of a bow to kind of match the feeling of those confetti, whatever they're called, strings. Okay, and I've got my cluster up here. It's going to overlap the photo a little bit. You can see my butterfly there. My journaling is going to go in this box right here. And I've got my word celebrate going across the top. I wanted to add a little bit of flowers to kind of emphasize this right here. So I was going to go ahead and add that. And then I've got these cute little tassels. I thought it'd be fun to actually put these underneath those flowers. Now you have to think in my album is going to be stored vertically, but you're going to look at it horizontally. So I'm okay with kind of bulking this up a little bit. Okay, so see how that kind of covered some of that t paper that I didn't want? Perfect. And then down here, this is a celebration of my birthday slash summer. So I'm going to go ahead and add some cute die cuts. Now, these die cuts weren't in my original video, and that's okay. I ended up going through some stuff and found this purple, and I was like, okay, perfect, here we go. Can add some stuff. Now this is from that BU collection. I needed some yellow, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right there. Adding in that yellow color. And I need some pink. I got some pink up here with those flowers. So I grabbed some pink and it's just gonna kind of overlap here. I'm gonna cut this part off, this little stem, which I can absolutely do. And then I needed some dark blue. See how my rub-on is getting covered, but it's also acting as kind of like a cluster base to pull forward. And this is going to kind of rest here. This is going to be hard to glue. This one will be hard to glue. Got some layers going on here that are weird. And then I've got a couple little extra small flowers to bring in some of those other colors. And that's that cluster. A lot of stuff going on down there. Left cluster over here. I thought this was really cute and I really wanted to use this on the page because I felt like a queen that day. So it's going to be layered up on top of that floral bit. Then I felt like I needed to get some of the purple over there. So pulling from that beautiful collection and the chipboard, I just peeled the back off. 
you know, it's funny because I bought this new from American Crafts, but this is such an old line that the sticky, like the whole thing just kind of fell apart and that's okay. And I love this little queen deal here pointing straight to me. <laughs> it is my birthday. I am the queen, right? And then I've got a couple flowers to pull the colors around my cluster there. So we added here, we added some rub-ons there, kind of to get rid of that white. And then I don't know that I need to add any rub-ons over here because we've got a lot of this floral section on the left covering the white spot. So I think that, my friends, is my page. For gluing, what I'm probably going to end up using, at least up here, is this 3-in-1 advanced tape glue. And I'll probably put a big blob there and then just kind of stick things on top of each other. I do want my journaling going here, so I'm going to go ahead and journal before I glue everything down in this cluster specifically. And then I'll rearrange the flowers to do that. And this, I mean, you can't tell, this is a hilarious party, if you can't tell already by the pictures, but. Anywho, that is my page for the day. You'll find all of the materials that I used, including this glue, down below. Um, you'll find the playlist that I've created for the collection obsession for my specific videos at the end of the video. And I will see you next time.